Hey guys, how are you? And in this video, we'll talk about Kaohsiung. Kaohsiung City is a massive port city in southern Taiwan. It has a population of 2.7 million people, making it the third largest city after Taipei and Taichung. Get into this city is easy. There is an international airport, and if you want to travel from Taipei, it's just two hours by high-speed rail. Or if you prefer to drive, it's three and a half hours by car. Since its founding in the 17th century, Kaohsiung has grown from a small trading village into a major city of southern Taiwan. Kaohsiung, just like Taipei, has a subway system called MRT, which stands for Mass Rapid Transit, which opened in 2008. Today it has three lines and 45 stations. The average daily ridership stands at about 170,000 people. Two of the city's MRT stations were ranked among the top 50 most beautiful subway systems in the world. First one is Formosa Boulevard Station, known for its Dome of Light. It's the largest glass work in the world. It was designed by an Italian artist, Narcissus Quagliata. It's made up of 4,500 glass panels. The other station is Central Park Metro Station, designed by British architect Richard Rogers. The circular light rail is also part of the MRT. It is expected to be the world's first light rail vehicle system on a fully catenary free route. Roads in the city are wide and expansive and it's really easy to park your car. And it seems like Kaohsiung is the city that's made for cars. Many people have a garage in their home which is not typical for Taiwan. But scooters seem to be even more popular. Did you know that Taiwan has the world's highest density of scooters? Reaching 375 per square kilometer. Just look at this parking lot. Let's talk about economy. Kaohsiung's port is the primary port for exporting rice, sugar, fruits and vegetables as well as electronics and other consumer products manufactured in southern Taiwan. It is an industrial city that has an oil refinery, aluminum and cement works, fertilizer factories, sugar refineries and paper making plants. The nominal GDP is estimated to be around $45 billion or $24,000 per capita for 2008. Why do I think Kaohsiung is an interesting city? Well, because recently the city has been going through a transition from being a purely industrial city towards a city that has more appeal to international tourists. So let's take a look at the city's potential and what it can offer for travelers. The tallest building of the city is the 85 Sky Tower. It is 347 meters high or 1,140 feet and it was the tallest structure in Taiwan until they completed Taipei 101 in 2004. Interestingly, there is no 44th floor in the building. If you didn't know this, it's called tetraphobia, fear of the digit 4, avoiding the digit 4 at all costs, because in Chinese it sounds like death, si, so it means 4 and death at the same time. Another interesting place in the city is Pier 2 Art Center. This project shows what can be done when you have some passion and drive. This art center was originally an abandoned warehouse. A vibrant and very interesting location full of shops, independent vendors, sculptures, exhibits and installation pieces. There is plenty to see and do here and there are plenty of exhibitions to visit. The Kaohsiung Museum of Fine Arts this museum has a variety of exhibitions, VR experience, multimedia games and so much more. It's a great place to visit if you're an arts lover and there's also a huge park with a lake around it. So it's just a nice area to visit. Lotus Pond with Dragon and Tiger Pagodas. That's one of my favorites. It's an artificial lake built in 1951 and now it's a popular tourist destination. It's famous for the lotus plants and the numerous temples around the lake, including the dragon and tiger pagodas. Now let's enter the mouth of the dragon. 
Ooh, scary. One of my favorite places in the city is the Chijin Island. You can get here by taxi, bus or ferry or even take the MRT to station R01. Chijin Island is a popular day escape from the big city and locals love coming here to spend some time at the beach and enjoy some of the most affordable seafood in Taiwan. A popular way to explore the island is to rent a bike. There are lots of surfers and it's a nice place to enjoy the sand, the waves and the sunset. And after dark, you can visit the night market street with a good choice of seafood. Or you can see, or you can eat. Everything if that you, you like, can see, yeah. you can eat. This is an open menu. You just pick up you like. Right. Uh, fish. Shellfish. Shellfish. And uh, calamari. That's okay. Squid. Squid. Uh, uh, crab. That's crab. Shrimp. Yeah. Shrimp. Okay. Crab. And how many people do they need? Uh, does there have to be at the table to order this kind of fish? No, it's nothing. It's we can. Ah, oh, it's pet. Pet. <laughs> pet. We nothing. don't sell it. Okay. We sell it. We we just sell an another yeah, fish. Yeah, like a cat or another a dog. fish. Yeah, that's a yeah, pet. Yeah, another fish. This pet. Okay. Crabs. Okay. How much is one crab? Maybe two hundred, three hundred for one. Do you want to show me your favorites? Sea clam. Okay. Stir fry with some basil. Uh, calamari. Calamari. Uh, deep fry with some garlic salt pepper. It's very much cooked. Garlic pepper, okay. And uh, abalone. We call it abalone? Abalone. abalone. Small okay. abalone. Uh, Stem with garlic. Oh, that was a good introduction. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Chijin Wind Turbine Park. It's a recreational wind farm. The park consists of seven three-blade wind turbines, which generate enough power to provide the park with four hours of illumination during nighttime. If you love taking great pictures, you might want to visit Shoshan Love Lookout. It's an observation deck right next to Martyr Shrine. This place was originally established as Takao Kotahira Shrine during the Japanese rule of Taiwan in 1910. Japan switched diplomatic relations from Republic of China to People's Republic of China, triggering an outcry and the demolition of the shrine. Then they rebuilt the shrine in 1978 with its new name. There's a number of night markets in the city, like Liuha and Rufan. <laughs> night markets offer a large variety of snacks at low prices. You can try different sorts of fruits. What are you selling? We the fifty dollars is delicious. Okay. And the car one hundred dollars. And the shop 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 amount is sixteen dollars. You can play different games and get some daily commodities and clothing for cheap. Love River is the spine of Goshan playing a similar role to the River Thames of London. A riverside park, the Love River Park, runs along the riverbank in downtown Gaoshan city. This Holy Rosary Cathedral is the oldest Catholic church in Taiwan and it's located just east of the Love River. On the left in the distance you can see Gaoshan Music Center, which is a music hall. It was a joint implementation of the Spanish architecture team and the Taiwan team. I think it turned out to be excellent. I have come to the central park of Gaoshan. Man, it took me some time to remember the city's name. It's not the simplest one. Central Park is an oasis of greenery in the midst of heavily built up urban area. Let's walk around and talk to the locals. What's your name? My name is Rui Katai. Nice to meet you. What do you like about Gaoshan? Like three things. One, two, three. What do you like? Uh, People. People? Yeah, and the uh, building. The buildings? Yeah. Okay. And uh, just like this uh, park is very. Parks? Yeah. Because so many parks uh, around here. Okay. Uh, uh, All right. A, a, lot of, a lot of parks is very so flat. 
Yeah, lots yeah. of parks. In lots Gaoshan. of park areas. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. How are you guys doing? Good. Uh, Good. <laughs> yeah. And you live in Gaoshan? Yes. And uh, tell me three things about your city that you really like. I like her bike lanes, a lot of bike lanes. And bike the, lanes. The bike lanes and a very big park. Big park yeah. and a very uh, many beautiful sightseeing. Yes, see the sunset there. Oh, the sunset is yeah. absolutely beautiful. Uh, and we have a beach. If you enter the beach, see the sunset, that's very cool and very beautiful. What else do you like about your city? Oh, food. 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 Uh, okay. food. And for, some, for someone coming to Gaoshan for the first time, what would you recommend? Okay, uh, there will be Olympi. Olympi. A kind of food, just like a slice. A pie, and okay. it made of fish. Made of fish. Fish. As it's only in Kaohsiung. Oh, yeah. yeah Can good. you say the name again? Uh, Olympi. You know the Chai San? Chai San, a small mountain hill. Okay. Yes. And there are many wild monkeys. Monkeys. But there's many oak lamps. Oh, is you that, can go is there. that where the zoo is? Yes. Yeah. So I was driving there today and I saw a monkey jumping on a man. Yes. Oh, yeah, yes. Yeah, you should be very careful. Yeah. Like, Get off me. Yeah. Get off me. They are very aggressive. Yeah. yeah. So I decided not to step out of the car. <laughs> they even uh, rub our backs. Yeah, really. It's food. They're grabbing your bags. Everything you, you carry. Yeah, oh wow. There is food. Uh, what do you have to do here to to make good money? Uh, in Kaohsiung, there. Because Kaohsiung is a uh, it's a big big port. Yeah, it's a big port. Yeah. yeah so we had a fishery uh, industry. And what do you guys do? Oh, actually, we sell it. <laughs> we sell it frozen seafood. <laughs> Yeah, you sell uh, frozen seafood? Yes, oh. yes. export the seafood to other countries. Yeah. Uh, which countries do you export it to? Uh, Australia. Yeah, Australia. Australia. Yeah. Yes, yeah. most of Australia. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Now, if you want to travel a little bit outside of the city, you might want to visit the Chimei Museum. It's a private museum established in 1992 by Chimei Corporation. The museum's collection is divided into five categories fine arts, musical instruments, natural history and fossils, arms and armor, antiquities, and artifacts. Now, one thing that I kind of overlooked, and I apologize for not visiting Fo Guan Shan Buddha Museum. It's a Buddhist monastery with a 36 meter tall Buddha statue. Now, if you come to Gaoshan, make sure you visit this place because it looks absolutely impressive. Actually, when it comes to religion, Buddhism has the highest number of followers here, 35%, followed by Taoism, 33%, and Christianity, 4%. Gaoshan has a number of colleges offering training in commerce, education, medicine, languages, and I was just passing by this Gaoshan American school and decided to talk to the students that were waiting for their bus at a bus station, so let's take a look. Hi, how are you guys doing? So you go to uh, going to American school, yeah. and they're teaching you every subject in English. Yeah. yeah. Oh, pretty cool. What's your favorite subject? Uh, art, arts, arts. Arts. Yeah. Okay. Yours too. Yeah. Once you finish this school, what do you want to do next? What do you want to do in the future? Uh, fashion design. Fashion design. Yeah. What about you? Um, design. Also. Yeah. And uh, what same, about you? Same. Oh, you guys go to the same class then? In this city, do a lot of people speak English? What's your impression? Not really. Not really? Yeah. So you kind of no. stand out? Oh. What's it like living in Gaoshan? Well, first of all, the weather is fantastic. With monthly mean temperatures between 20 and 29 Celsius, or 68 and 84 Fahrenheit, the cost of living here is pretty low. An apartment in the city center, you can rent it for it under $300. But at the same time, the salaries are nothing to be bragging about. 
Like an average net salary after taxes is $1,200. It is a lot less crowded than in Taipei. But the best aspect of living here is having access to all the nature and the sea. But if you consider yourself a city person, a go-getter type of personality, unless you're in the import-export type of business, then Goshan would probably not be the best place for you. It seems like the people in Goshan are just so relaxed that they don't have the sense of urgency even if there's a long line is forming. It took me 40 minutes to exchange $100 bill at a bank. I should have used an ATM. I enjoyed my time in Gaoshan and it's definitely worth visiting if you're in Taiwan. This city is a great example of how to give an industrial city new life and turn it into something more. And it could be one of those most underrated cities in the world. Thanks for watching guys, hope you enjoyed it. There'll be more videos coming soon, thank you.